You're late. Top priority, Telex. Just as I was leaving the embassy. He's here. Good. Harry, this is Yosef. Yosef Merhardt, Harry Walter. Good to know you, Joseph, Mr. Walter. Mandy, fix Joseph one of these. Uh, sit down. Thank you. So, you're a diplomat? Correct. I thought the Soviet bloc embassies were full of spies. Oh, but they are. Then what does that make you? <laughs> and there are two things that you must know about me, Mr. Walter. Call me Harry. I am not a particularly careerist diplomat. And I'm an even worse communist. Thank you, Amanda. Hit the spot? <clears throat> Excellent. Good. Now, why should I believe you, Joseph? For the best of all reasons, Harry. It doesn't matter a damn if you don't. <laughs> Mandy, my love. I want you to do me a favor, please. So polite. How can I refuse? You can't. Now, you go out, you squeeze a couple of oranges, and you put a couple of icebergs in. Harry, I told you, the fridge is on the blink. That was the Mandy, last... will you make like Jack and Jill? Now, get your little bucket and go upstairs and knock on one of the doors. You get my drift? Anyone would think you didn't want me here. What on earth gave you that idea? Get out. I understand you have a proposition. Yes. I'm listening. We... Uh, that is, my government, make regular deliveries of a certain, well, of a certain precious commodity. If it's gold, say so. It isn't. It's silver. Regular deliveries from our shipping agent. Where? In Tooley Street, to the docks at Tilbury, and back again. Why back again? That's not relevant. Relevant or not, I'm interested. We are speculating on the London bullion market. I don't believe it. It's true. When the price is low, we buy. We ship it home. When the price rises, we sell. We ship it back. <laughs> Naughty little communists. If you can't beat them. You know the route? Mm -hmm. What type of vehicle? Articulated lorry. Crew? Three. One driver, two in a car behind. Mm. Are they tooled up? Uh, shooters, uh, guns? No. Two-way radio? No. Police cooperation? No. Why? Oh, for obvious reasons. What size your average cargo? Three to four million. Pounds? Sterling. Four million quid. <laughs> Kathmandu. Oh, no, There's a little of green-eyed, grey-haired, sober little Scotsman. What he wouldn't approve. Make a deal with you. Yeah? You don't tell him, and I won't tell him either. Sounds fair enough. Mm -hmm. So, come on up. At least to the top of the shop. <laughs> Sounds exciting. <laughs> Magic taxidermy, surgical stockings, <laughs> bed food. Come on, Rick. <laughs> hey, Mandy's night in, isn't it? So we can trip toe to my room. <laughs> what did, you, did you say trip toe? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No one will know we're there. 
You must be joking. <laughs> you know why they don't want to go. Tell me. No golf course. <laughs> Well, I never knew that, did you? Oh, it's terrible. I mean, all those birdies and eagles and nowhere to go. Who is he? No one of the accent. Which accent? Oh, Mandy, no. Oh, what are you doing? What's it look like? You've not got a cold, have you? Cold? Bit of NC. Oh, no. Bucks fizz. Third bottle tonight. I've got Harry and Joe in there. That's ambitious. Four drinks. Tough luck. How was dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Boozy? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Come on, Ray. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's not fair. What do you want to throw? There's one in the living room. No, no, it's all right. I've got to go. Be good. You don't give me much choice, do you? Four five to base over. Go ahead, four five. You were bleeping me. Were we? Well, it wasn't hiccups. Hang on, four five. Four five. Yeah, still here. Proceed immediately to house reference Tango Foxtrot two. Obo duties. I spoke his job. Operative taken ill. Ill? That's what I said. Roger, two, four. This gate will be open, right? As soon as we've got the lorry, in through here. Wide enough? Plenty. About a quarter of a mile, there's a turn. Sheep, cattle? No, no, crops. After the turn, it doubles back onto the B road. Another 300 yards, it joins up with a feed into the motorway. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Has possibilities. It is terrific. How do we stop the lorry? Crash. A real one? No. Nah. Busk it. Clouds of steam, radiator cracked, chicken blood. Well, why not? I've seen it. So? Too chancy. Passerby gets curious, picks up a telephone. Harry, it is perfect. If it is, we can always come back to it. I hate to see the police in cars like that. It's too good for them. They've got to have some power to catch all those villains. It's not right. <laughs> Time was a bubby called you, sir. You what? It's true. You going to the Gigi's on Saturday? What else? With my new jockey making his debut? Oh, of course, I forgot. Any good? Could be another Willie Shoemaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a leery little bastard. You know, the first race, I offered him 1,200 quid. You know what he said? Yeah. No, man, I don't race for a penny under a 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he races better than he figures, eh? I certainly hope so. Is this it? It's due, Roy. Well due. Out of the car. <laughs> Just begging to be took. What did I tell you? There's two in the car, Harry. They must have shooters. Now, one's from the agency, the other's a security guard. 55 and not too clever on his pins. Be like taking cherries from a kid. Well, I like to do something for the old country. What? It appeals to my sense of patriotism. Teach him a little lesson, eh? Karl Marx wouldn't approve. But Harry Walters does. Good morning. Is it? Oh, don't be like that, mate. Brought you some nice hot coffee. Thought you were ill. Hey, you should have seen me. Yeah, you're right, I should. Well, I'll tell you, Ray, you wouldn't believe it. I'm so bad, I couldn't even get into bed. Who's? Seen anything? No, curtains haven't flapped once. Ooh, the old man's not gonna like that. Well, the old man can do the other thing. Oh. Ah, seven little dwarfs sitting in the bath, all feeling happy. Happy got out, you all felt grumpy. Look at you, put that trace in. Feed the diplomatic plates. Yeah. 
name is Merhart. Joseph Merhart. Embassy? Yeah, commercial side. I saw him run at Debbie and Mandy's place. So? Potential security risk. What, Mandy? Hmm. Positive vetting. She works for the Ministry of Defence. Come on, the only secret she knows is the date for Morning Cloud's next refit. You know it. Nonetheless. No, oh, the nation dozes while diligent Doyle doesn't. Alliteration, they call that, by the way. Oh, is it? I want to know more about Mehar. Alpha 1 to 4 5. 4 5. You seen 3 7 anywhere? No, Alpha 1, not this morning. I saw him last night. I'm not interested in last night. When you see him, tell him I want him. Soonest. Roger, Alpha 1. Cool, got a great blimp out here, mate. Look at this. She's got a lovely full lotus. What are you going in tonight? Uh, pink thing, I think. It's all right, isn't it? It'll be fine. Jay's do's are pretty formal. Salmon and strawberries on the ancestral lawn. Mm. And it's your turn to do the sitting room. I hadn't forgotten. Mm. Good. Shame about friend Doyle last night. Oh, you're telling me. Damn bleeper. He's not a doctor, is he? No, he's some sort of policeman. Police? Well, I doesn't talk about it much. I'm not really sure. Police, but not police, if you see what I mean. Six overseas phone calls to that number from last Saturday night to first thing Tuesday. Where from? Libya, Benghazi. <laughs> Benghazi in my day. One of the Colonel's killer squads. Could be. Have you got an intercept on the calls? A good friend in the post office. No movement in or out since 0900 hours Tuesday and the phone doesn't answer. Why? Who else is in the building? Asians mainly. A few Arab students. Let's go and take a look. Why not? The two of you. Low profile. A body, that means... Yes, I do know what that means, sir. Good. Morning, Harry. Roy. It's good to see you. So, how are things going? It's got to be Monday, has it? Yes. Why, is that any bother? No. It was Tuesday, I could... Young man. Yes, Mr. Walker. Yeah, these croissants are not fresh. <laughs> but, sir... Look, Sunshine, I used to work in a bakery once. Now, those are yesterday's heated up. I would like some fresh ones. You understand? Yes, Mr. Walker. Thank you. How you were saying? If it was Tuesday, I could get Dusty Rhodes to do the driving. He's the top wheelman. I know Dusty Rhodes. Now, what's happening on Monday that's so important? He can't do this. He's in the nick. Monday, he comes up for bail. That's a good reason. Will he get the bail? Oh, yes, he'll get it. The fix is in. <laughs> all right, I'll have a word around, see if I can get the job postponed. I mean, after all, we're doing them a favour. There's no reason why they shouldn't do us one. There is just one other thing. Fresh croissant, Mr. Walter. Thank you, Andrew. He is a nice man. What'll it cost me? Your one other thing. Funny you should say that. Hilarious. Dust his bail. How much? Four big ones. Top whack. You know, sometimes I get the impression I'm financing the bloody space program around here. Flats either side are now empty. Good hunting. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Abby. What's wrong? George. George who? That's right. Huh? Starting up the stairs now.
Bodie. It's a nice clean finish. Yeah, bloody jelly builders. Four five star for one. Come in, four five. The Arab girl dead in the bar. Electric heater fallen in. Either rigged for the job or badly fixed. I don't know. Recognize her? No, not from this angle. Okay, four five. Out. Who else we got speaks Arab? Uh, seven one. Due in on the noon flight from Cairo. I whistle them out here straight away. Tell them it's a babysitting job. <laughs> Sound all right, Dusty? Yeah, that's all right. Battery, plugs, points. Anything else? Brakes. Brakes, yeah. Well, that's it. Well learned. Good teacher. <laughs> Fresh air. Smells sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. The bail. Now, where'd that come from? Not your problem, son. I'm grateful. Of course you are. If I'm going to give you the chance to show it. A job. Now then, who's paying for this? MI6 or CI5? I bought the lagers. Oh. I'll tell you what, toss you for it. I tell you, Will. You like some wine with your meal? Do they do wine here? Yeah, got a lot of Portuguese stuff, Rosé. Quite nice, actually. What, in the curry house? Hmm, used to be old Cafe Lisbon. Did it? Mm. Hey, I wonder what the Indians will leave behind. Not a lot. Cheers? Yeah, cheers, man. Right. What about my communist friend, then? Mayhart. Well, he's an assistant to the commercial councillor. Politically active? Well, he couldn't prove it by me. Rather the opposite. What do you mean? Well, the word is he wants out. See, we've got him listed as a potential turnaround. And? No joy. Apolitical, as in asexual. And hardly delighted about the thought of going home. Well, the wife? Yeah, back home. She's a big, heavy-duty diesel job. Not a love match according to sources. What does he do? Trade. Cameras, mainly. Photographic equipment, that sort of thing. Why the interest? I just thought he might be seeing a girl, you know, Whitehall. No? Yeah? I doubt it. Look, there's a caviar and vodka soiree at the end of the month. I'll ask around. Cheers. Money. Ray! I'll tell you what, you finish that, I've got another one for you. There's about the tenth offer today. Oh, I'll bet. Is Debbie in? No, not till six. I heard her tell you on the phone. Yeah, it's a lousy line. I couldn't hear a word. You know, this tire's a bit flat, don't you? Your friend, Joseph Mayhart. What about him? Met him once. Really? Yeah. Embassy party, something like that. Could be. Do you have a key? What? To the flat. No. Doesn't matter, I left the door on the latch. Oh, there's no hurry. You'd like a drink, wouldn't you? Yeah, in a minute. Now go and pour yourself one. I'll join you as soon as I finish this. Yeah, all right. I really can recommend the sherry. Did you finish it? Finish what? The car. Got tired. It was sudden. I'm like that. Cleaning cars, gardening, housework. Little goes a long way. Are your shoes hurting? 
got them wet. Pour me sherry. I'll go and change. No sooner said than done. What were you doing in my bedroom? Me? <laughs> Not guilty. This is Sherry. It's your night out, isn't it? Correct. You're going somewhere special? Sadler's Wells. I didn't know you were a ballet buff. I'm not. He is. He being? No one you know. End of interrogation. Going to have a bath? Can I scrub your back? No, thank you. about as far as we can go for the moment, Joseph. Don't I don't want to talk about it. Well, you must. Trust me. Amanda, just trust me. I do. So why can't you do the same for me? The less you know at this stage... I'm not a child! It's safer this way. Safer? I'll explain everything. When? When it's all over. Rio, Copacabana, Ipanema, Sugar Loaf. You might as well be saying Jupiter, Venus, Mars. <laughs> you have no faith. Amanda, we'll be there. I promise you. 320 ingots, according to the manifest. What would that weigh? Well, something like 10 tons. So each ingot is. Approximately 70 pounds. Madness. Starred and raving. There should have been a second man in the cab. Camp should have been locked. Back up. An armored vehicle, possibly. Radio contact. Hopeless. No word of the missing men. Not yet. Okay, Inspector. Four million pounds worth of silver bullion, one unarticulated trailer, and three men. The wires. The silver happens to belong to a communist block country. One of life's ironies. Your friends get ripped off, that's fine. And it's not your friend sent for CI5. Won't be many firms can handle a job that size. Three or four at the most, according to the robbery boy. Where was he going? Tilbury, then across the water. Regular occurrence, apparently. And so who knew? I thought you'd tell me that, Bully. Pussycat. Harry. Well, yes, it was when I left the lift. Well, nice to see you, Harry. I'm glad you You'd called. You better come in. Well, if not brass bands, I'll settle for flags and smiles. All right, forget the flags. I'll settle for a smile. A little one. What's wrong? Come on, tell Dad. I'm scared. Harry, I don't know why Yo Mehart asked to meet you, or what you talked about. I think it had something to do with this. <laughs> I don't believe There's something you don't know. So tell me. It might not be important. Then again, I thought that it... Tell me. One of Debbie's men friends. Doyle. He's a copper. Is he? Special branch of CI5, something or other. Like I said, I'm scared. He was here the other afternoon. Go on. Snooping, asking questions. What about? Joseph, me? I don't know. Then when I saw this... What do I do, Harry? When in doubt, do nothing. Oh, for God's sake! No, oh, come on now. Are you really scared? Calm down. 
Tell me, this, uh, this Doyle, does he know me? No. You ever spoken to him about me? Never. And he's never even seen me? All right, now, look. Come on, sit down. Now, you're going to calm down, and then you're going to take a few days off on me. My job, I'm too... Will you listen to me? Now, you're going to leave London. You get out of the country. See your mother. Let the dust settle. It's not that easy. Doyle, you say. CI5. Wait a minute. Well? Sound hollow? Echoey? Sort of, yes. Mm. You're being bugged. All right, now listen to me. Now, you don't want to get involved in this. Now, you say nothing to anyone. You get out now while you can. You think? I don't think I know. Now, you get in your car and you go. And remember, don't say anything to anyone. Good girl. England! England! <laughs> oh, it takes you back, eh, George? Oh, not me, Alan. I was shouting for Scotland. Mm, condolences. <laughs> Why here? Well, every year we try to ring the changes. AGMs are such dull old sticks, we keep changing the venue. Where are you holding it? The referee's changing room? <laughs> well, not quite. We had over 400 last year, though. Anyhow, enough of me. How can I help you? Silver. Buying or selling? Asking. How good an investment? Over what period? The last few years. Has been a spectacular investment. In early 70s, silver was about two US dollars an ounce. Then in early 79, six dollars. By the summer of 79, 11 dollars. Then someone tried to corner the market. And when that little bubble burst, it was up to 50 dollars. Came the deluge, up the ladders, down the snakes, back to 20 dollars. In four days, spot price dropped 55 percent. Some drop. <laughs> I'll say. Pale-faced commodities men scouring London looking for high window ledges. <laughs> But you're a steady punter, not too greedy, over the last two or three years. Couldn't have done better. You see, Mr. Cowley, we use silver oxide in the manufacture of photographic paper. You do? Yes. Uh, but you ship the silver back to London again for resale? Only occasionally when we have a surplus. Is it that occasional, Ambassador? According to my figures, you're one of the largest single dealers in the London Metal Exchange. Uh, 45 million last year. <laughs> it's a flourishing business. The photography business? Yes. Where would your tourists be without this camera? All those out-of-focus shots of the Tower of London. Cynics might say the dealings coincide with fluctuations in the price. Mr. Cowley, are you suggesting that we are speculators? Oh, of course not. However, you have been a wee bit cavalier with your security arrangements, or lack of them. True. But then your British police are so wonderful. We have total confidence in them. Uh, shipping vast quantities of silver to and fro, it's a dangerous game. Ah, Mr. Mayhart. This is Mr. Cowley of... Uh... CI5. Mr. Cowley. Mr. Mayhart is with our commercial department. Mr. Cowley is puzzled why we use so much silver. It is for our photographic industry. Silver is a major component in the manufacture of camera film. So I hear. Excuse me. I will deal with this in a moment. The shipments are pretty regular. Correct. The agents, for example, know anything up to ten days before. Do they? I did not realize. Is it possible there's a leak inside the embassy? A leak? Of information? I think not. You'll make inquiries? As of now. Good. A lot easier, you know. And safer to do what the other dealers do. Stick in a vault in London. Do all your transactions and paper. Mr. Cowley, how would that help our photographic business? Of course.
Read your notices? Seen worse. Anything on the grapevine? Got a problem, Roy. Oh, yeah. Needs sorting. Photo and address in there, all right? Don't come cheap. Nothing does. Urgent. You ever know me when it wasn't? She disappeared sometime yesterday. And no word? Nothing. No call, no message. Nothing on the pad. Is she like that? No, very much the opposite. Any clothes missing from a room? Mm. And suitcase. What about a car? That's gone too. No, we've got the description and the number. Yeah, she's been acting strange lately. I wouldn't have said so. She frightened of anything? No, not that I know of. She hasn't received any letters or calls that might disturb her. No. Oh, look, I, I'm sorry I'm being so unhelpful, but... What about her friends? How long have you got? I don't know. What about that fellow who was here the other night, um, Harry? Harry? Harry Walters, the, the businessman. He's got a few horses, hasn't he? Yeah, pulled some strokes as well. Or bent ones. Yeah, so they say. You can't prove anything, you know the story. Look, you better get me Mandy's home address and any other number you think might be useful. She got an address book? Yeah, you better hang on and see if I can find it. Nice little slum, isn't it? Yeah, it's Debbie's father. She used to be an oil. Trust you. <laughs> Who ordered that trace on their heart? Uh, four or five. What reason did he give? Potential security risk. Associating with Ministry of Defence typist. Much known about him? Only what you've got in the file. Three seven got some info from five. Apparently he's not keen on going home. Prefers the West. Very decadent. He might be worth surveilling for a day or two. Want me to implement it? Why not? I told you. Oh, tell me again. I'd never seen him before, never. How many were there? One policeman, two with red coats, two with... Guns? And guns. You missed a bit. You're getting careless. I'm getting tired. Oh, you're getting tired, are you? What happened next? I got down from the cab. Why? Why? That was a question. Because he bloody waved me down, that's why. Are you always that helpful? Four million quid's worth of silver on your trailer, and you're that helpful. It was the law. He wasn't. I thought he was. Too much thinking. Not good for you. Stunt your growth. OK, Skip. One of these for you in the chief's office. I don't know you, do I? No, you don't. On your way. How long have I got? How long as it takes. Yeah, mate. Get that down your neck. So, you all right? Yeah. Want smoke? Wouldn't say no. Yeah, I'll keep it back. Can't pay you for them. I've got all my money. Yeah, no. Don't worry, have it on the government. Before you start, I don't know nothing. Nothing? Right. OK, believe you. You what? Well, you're obviously set up, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I believe it. You do? Yeah. Don't go away, will you? Uh, well, not now, anyway. Um, it's just a normal run, right? Yeah, do them before, do them again. Regular? As in all brand. Every Tuesday? Could it be Monday. Who's counting? The Monday, Tuesday makes no difference. Right. Makes it no longer, no shorter. All right, go on. Well, left Tooley Street, as usual. Tailed? No. Now, you did check? Of course. Everything's ship shape, normal. Till this cop flagged me down. Were you suspicious? No. We just passed a warning sign. Well, like you said you should have gone out on a Monday, right? That's right. So what was it? What was wrong? Lorry? Well, it wasn't us. It was postponed at the last minute. Well, who did that? The office. A think tank. Go here, go there. There's not a reason why. Yeah, I know what you mean. Morning. It's Mandy's mother. That's right. Of course you are. Spotted a mile away. It's the eyes. Uncanny. Well, can I help? Uh, hope so. I'm looking for her. Oh, she's not here. Not? No. Where is she? She's gone ready. <gasps> Why not? Perfect day for it. Did she know you were coming? Little surprise. Well, she's either at the stables or in the park. You shouldn't miss her. Good. Thank you. Who should I say called? I'll find her, don't worry. Now, yeah, sir. All right, thank you. Nose on the right. Yeah. Didn't want a dog, did you? Yeah, I thought not. According to the shipping agents, it was the embassy changed it from Monday. The embassy? They called late Friday afternoon. Oh, that's interesting. 
question is, what's the subtle difference between a Monday and Tuesday? And try this one. Monday a.m., a certain Dusty Rhodes comes out of prison and goes on bail. Who's Dusty Rhodes? Top wheelman. So Monday no, Tuesday yes? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, I'll pass it on. Any firms that Rhodes has worked for should give them something to bite on. Do we know who made the call from the embassy? I thought you'd ever ask. A use of myrrh. recognize his name? I don't think he ever said who he was. Okay, I'll get after them. Well, there's nothing wrong, is there? No, of course not. Well, he was carrying an attaché case. Uh, about this size. Okay. him coming out? Broken leg, ruptured spleen, uh, suspected fracture of the skull. What about Mandy? Keep her under wraps till it's safe. Oh. What's the matter? Well, up to ten days ago we were just two normal girls. Still look pretty normal to me. Oh. Go on, I'll finish this. Uh, no, no, she's not here at the moment. Sorry. Where is she? How long will she be away? Oh, no idea. Will she... Will she be back in time for the weekend? Well, I couldn't say. I see. Thank you, Deborah. Bye. Goodbye. How many arrests? Seven so far. And not one of them is saying anything? Oh, that's right. I understand your predicament. You do not. Nobody does. And no one's talking. And so far, there's no sign of the missing silver. Half an afternoon in Lubyanka, that's all it would take. <laughs> it's not our style. How are your inquiries going? Mine? A re the leak of information. Oh, that. Nothing to show so far. Well, it's not exactly the Hilton, but it will do. Will anyone start taking pot shots at me? That's what I want to know. We'll try and make sure they don't. Yeah. Eight and five makes 13. So you're not superstitious, eh? Not really. OK? Fine. Stay away from the window. God, you'll have me crawling around on the floor. There's a portable television set coming. There's the telephone. And uh, there's a couple of paperbacks in your case. Will you be okay till supper time? You're not leaving me, are you? Yeah, just for the moment. Don't let anybody in. Keep the door locked. And if they call fire... I'll sit and burn. That's the spirit. Ciao. He didn't lock the door. Give me a chance. He won't.
Subject leaving embassy. Taking suitcases. Could be making a run for it. No, I'm at a hotel. Why? Why? I told you, because this man came after me and tried to kill me. Are you sure? It's not something you can be in doubt about. God, you must have been terrified. That doesn't begin to describe it. Oh, you poor kid. Where are you now? This hotel. Which hotel? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Mandy, I'm not anyone. Oh, you know what I mean, Harry. No, I don't know what you mean, Mandy. Now, I miss you. I mean, I want to see you. I mean, the least I can do is buy you a drink, cheer you up. When it's all over. All right. I can take a hint. Well, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just give me your number there, and then at least I can ring you from time to time. Well, I shouldn't. Who's going to know? You think I know every hotel number in London? Okay. It's 937-0219, room 85, okay? 0219, I've got it. Now, listen to me, darling. Oh, sorry, somebody just come into the office. I'll have to get back to you. Bye. Goodbye, Mandy. I don't mind you waiting in the roller, but I do mind you smoking in it. I'm oh, sorry. Got a little bone to pick, Roy. Oh, yeah? The old man with the shooter, he didn't deliver. No? No. My little problem is sitting on a took us not three miles from here. Oh, that's bad. It's very bad, Roy. Now, remember this. Hardy Hotel off the Cromwell Road, room 85. Now, fix it. Me? You. I'll get someone in. Roy. You already got someone in. Now you fix it. That's about far enough, Mr. Merhart. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have diplomatic immunity. My papers. They don't give you immunity to steal. Not even from your own government. There must be some mistake. Explain it to the ambassador. He's on his way. You can't keep me here. I wouldn't put that to the test if I were you. You realize you're sending me to a firing squad? You know what I mean, Harry. No, Mandy, I don't know what you mean. Now, look, I've missed you. I want to see you. At least I can buy you a drink, cheer you up. I bet that's not the only thing he wants to do for us. When's this happen, 9-6? About 20 minutes after you left. Which hour is this, the horsey one? Yeah, Harry Walter. Look, anything else happens, no matter how trivial, you let us know, huh? Will do. Cabby, deliver this to Hotel Hardy, will you? Rear entrance. Right over there. Keep the change. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, it's gotta be. Are you sure? Mm hmm. I'll play the winner.
Oh. Well done. Yeah, I had row four. I had the same on row four. You said it was wrong. Oh, yes, yeah, so I did. Well, that's life. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, well, you got the list. Choose something. We'll phone down for it. Do we have any alternative? I would not have thought so. Instant recall, compassionate grounds, one of his children. For sake. Mm hmm. Since when? Come on, Mike. Is any of the silver missing? No. You see, my confidence was justified. You're going to blame all this on Merhart. Why not? The corrupting influence of the West. Been here too long. Something to watch for in the future. And this is the end of your speculation? What is that saying? The devil has all the best tunes? Could you get the hall porter to bring up my suitcase, please? And I want him delivered to the embassy. Tonight? Uh, first thing in the morning will do. Roger. Any word from the hotel? Not yet, Alpha One. Keep me informed. Roger, Alpha One. Out. I thought it was never coming. Anything to sign? Where's my roast beef? No roast beef. So there's extra round of ham. Is that okay? I'd eat it if it was horse. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks very much. Joseph Merhart. No. Never heard of him. He knows you. He even had your unlisted number. Well, that's amazing. And uh, what did he talk about? Silver. That bullion robbery. Yeah? Ah, yes. Yes, I, uh, I remember reading about that. According to him, you financed it. <laughs> that's news to me. Seed money, dusty roads, bail, hitman from Guernsey. Spent a small fortune, didn't you? But uh, to what end? The embassy, Kensington Palace Gardens. What is it? Receipts for the return of their silver. All of it. It wasn't one of your barges, was it? <laughs> Charming people. Most grateful. Where is he? Having breakfast. I thought we were nicking him. We will, Bodie, we will. When? One day. What's wrong with today? He'll keep. Don't worry. Safe trip. <laughs> 